Hello students, welcome back. In this video, we are going to focus on the topic of propagation of light through an optical fiber. Now, uh, in our previous video, we have discussed on the topic of total internal reflection. And as you all know that the propagation of light in fiber optics is based on total internal reflection. Now here, uh, um, we found that sine theta c is equal to mu2 by mu1, where mu1 is the refractive index of the denser medium and mu2 is the refractive index of the rarer medium. Theta c is the angle of incidence uh, in which the angle of uh, the refracted ray grazes the boundary between the rarer medium and the denser medium. So if it is incident at an angle theta c, it will graze the boundary between the rarer medium and the denser medium. So sine theta c equal to mu2 by mu1 and any ray coming uh, incident at an angle greater than theta c, it will be total internally reflected. Now, uh, from the previous calculation, we got that sine theta c equal to mu2 by mu1 and um, if we take the rarer medium as air, so mu2 will be 1 and if we take mu1 as mu, so sine theta c will be 1 by mu. Okay, so sine theta c equal to mu2 by mu1 and after uh, considering the air medium, sine theta c is equal to 1 by mu. So now let us discuss the propagation of light through the uh, optical fiber. Now the diameter of the optical fiber is very small. So for launching the um, optical sources which are used are basically the LEDs, light emitting diodes and the laser diodes. And to focus um, on this uh, core uh, core part, core cladding interface in uh, the lens, a uh, lens is used to focus the beam on the optical fiber core. Now the light entering the fiber, it strikes the core cladding at different angles. Now here uh, N1 is the refractive index of the core and N2 as the refractive index of the cladding. Now refractive index of the core is greater than the refractive index of the cladding. So this core is a denser medium and the cladding is the rarer medium. So therefore majority of the rays they undergo total internal reflection. Now as they undergo total internal reflection you see here the angle of uh, this incidence is equal to the angle of reflection and now since this uh, core cladding as you can see it has cylindrical symmetry so due to this cylindrical symmetry the total internal reflection reflection is also uh, evident on the other interface so if it is undergoing total internal reflection at this interface it will also undergo total internal reflection at the opposite interface also so thus the ray travel forward by total internal reflection and ultimately it reaches the other end of the optical fiber and it emerges out of it now therefore each reflection is is total internal reflection. Now since it is total internal reflection so the losses are negligible. Now it can carry light waves over the long it can carry life light waves over the long distance and these fiber optics can act as a waveguide. Now two things that you must remember here is that one of the most important thing is the first thing is the refractive index of the core should be greater than the refractive index of the cladding. So you see here when uh, any ray which is coming at an angle phi c, phi c I have taken here as the uh, critical angle. So if it is incident at this angle it will grace the surface between the core and the cladding. So any uh, mm, a ray which has uh, incident at an angle greater than phi c so it will be totally internally reflected okay so the to form this total internal reflection uh, 
this core must have a refractive index greater than that of the cladding so i have written here the refractive index of the core must be greater than the refractive index of the cladding and number two is at the core cladding interface the uh, ang uh, the interface the angle of incidence phi between the ray and the normal to the interface must be greater than the critical angle phi c there that means whatever the angle whatever the angle of the incident ray if it is greater than phi c then only it will undergo total internal reflection and it will move through the optical fiber and through the core of the optical fiber now what happens if if uh, this uh, ray is uh, is this ray is smaller angle than that of the phi c then what happened this you can see here the red line this ray shows it will be lost in the cladding so this ray will not propagate so here sin phi c is equal to n2 by n1 so n1 is the refractive index of the core and n2 is the refractive index of the cladding so which ray will propagate only those rays which are incident at an at the core cladding interface at an angle greater than phi c that means greater than the critical angle only those rays will propagate through the fiber and which rays will be lost the rays that are incident at smaller angle are refracted into the uh, core cladding interface and are lost smaller than phi c then they then that rays will be lost that will not propagate so this is all about the propagation of light through the fiber thank you